one's in need of a painkiller, how many times have you been wondering what's best to take? What's stronger and less harmful, paracetamol or ibuprofen? Here's an easy guide. Paracetamol and ibuprofen are both common mild to moderate pain relievers. Paracetamol is believed to have better effect as an antipyretic to treat fever and is used to treat many conditions such as headache, muscle aches, backache, toothaches, colds and flus. Paracetamol may have an antidepressant effect. A study has shown paracetamol to increase availability of the antidepressant serotonin in rats, but this has not been tested in humans. Ibuprofen, on the other hand, is better suited to treat mild to moderate pain. However, the primary difference is that ibuprofen, unlike paracetamol, is a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug, meaning that it treats inflammation, for example, in mild arthritis. In terms of side effects, paracetamol has shown liver toxicity in higher dosages. Always get advice before taking paracetamol if you have liver or kidney problems, if you have problems with alcohol, such as long-term alcohol misuse, if you are very underweight, or if you are taking other medications like medicines to treat epilepsy or used to prevent blood clots. Ibuprofen, like the whole NSAIDs family, may cause gastric ulcers over time, and so should be taken on a full stomach or with food. The following people should avoid taking ibuprofen allergic to other NSAIDs, those suffering from a stomach ulcer, those suffering from heart failure, liver disease patients. People with the following conditions may take ibuprofen with caution. People with kidney problems or liver problems, systemic lupus, ulcerative colitis, asthma patients, high blood pressure, hypertension, or those who suffered stroke previously. Don't forget that painkillers may help to relieve physical pain, but they won't sort out our long-term problems and mental suffering. For that, you may think about other methods worth trying. Someone smart said, some people live joyfully no matter how their environment is, because they are joyful in their hearts and thoughts. Some people live without being able to feel joy, even though their home, their environment, their face and their body are great and beautiful, because their hearts and thoughts are miserable and unhappy. To find out more, feel free to watch our Secret of Joy video. Thank you for watching. See you again soon.